when Walker Bueller went down, Clayton Kershaw has been nicked up. What did the Dodgers have weaponry wise in a postseason? Did anyone lock in on who showed back up, Dustin May? This is, I can make the argument, and we'll get into it. I can make the argument outside of Jacob DeGrom. I don't know what kind of deception, what kind of extension he has on his heater that no one's able to barrel up. This guy might have, for me, the nastiest arsenal of stuff in the entire game and what he's able to do and manipulate the ball. So let's get into Dustin May a little bit. I'm going to take you through his start against the Marlins, but I want to go back to 2020 because this is when he went viral. These ABs against Manny Machado were unbelievable. I want you to see the sink and run. Manny Machado is going to eventually strike out on a pitch that goes behind his leg. That's a slider that he probably wants back. Austin Barnes, two seam, run that back Ooh. for me. That's 98 miles an hour, people. That's middle. And it ends up behind his right thigh. Run this. So you listen to Austin Riley come on the show and talk about Ooh. hunting windows. This guy's hitting three different windows in the course of 98 mile an hour, two seam fastball. So there's no way, this was later on, run that back. I mean, we're talking, this thing's, get me to that AB, yeah, right there. I mean, that's moving a foot, foot and a half at 98 miles an hour. There's no way to find where you're gonna barrel this up. Where am I barreling that? It's in off the plate and then behind me. So he has been good, so happy to see him back. S-Rod, bring up the season, sta uh, the stats since 2020. Cause when he's right and he's on the field, he's as good as anybody. 18 appearances, 16 starts, 84 innings, 2.46 ERA. That's fifth in the National League, punching out almost 10 guys. Whip, opponent's OPS is nothing, 612. So get back into the tape for me. Elite, elite stuff. Four pitches to four quadrants at aggressive velocities, something for a right-hander, a left-hander, pause. Will Smith has nothing but weapons to go to, okay? Bring up its pitch usage the last two years. Piss usage, the last two seasons. Sinker, 39%. Curveball, they have it as a curveball. For me, it's a slider. Austin Barnes calls it a slider. If the catcher's calling it a slider, I'm calling it a slider. Four-seam fastball, 19%. Cutter at 17%, and then we'll, we'll kick in a changeup just to show you something different, and he's holding a changeup right there. But I want to talk about the sheer velocity spin rate of his stuff that makes him so difficult to hit. This is a first inning. You're just trying to get loose if you're John Birdie. <laughs> People are filing in. LA, it's beautiful out. Run this. First pitch. Snap. 98. Run that back. Watch where it starts. Watch where it comes out of his hand. Middle away. Pain in. 98 miles an hour. And that's just natural run that he has. Yeah, two-seam run, Robert. Look at that. that. That's a ball in, 1-1. One, one. Guy steals second base. Okay, keep it going. Snap, 99, paint in. If John Birdie swings at that pitch, he breaks his shin on a foul ball. And then he gets a dirty slider, 87 miles an hour. And that's the decision you got to make. You can't come off 99 miles an hour. Here is Jesus Aguilar. So pause this for me, S-Rod. Dive into the next board real quick before we get into Aguilar. Check this out, because we're going to get it. Highest average spin rate on his curveballs. He leads. You wonder why Garrett Richards gets invited to camp every year? Because he can spin the baseball. Charlie Morton, Tyler Glass now. Austin both. You talk about just disgusting, disgusting stuff. I can't begin to tell you what it's like to be in the box and the ball's moving a foot at 99 miles an hour. And you got to make a decision right out here. Is that a slider or is that a two seamer? And it almost stops. And then you got to make a decision if it's going right or left. <laughs> Get back into the Jesus Aguilar at bat because this is a veteran hitter right here. Top of the first inning. Cheating to a 99 mile hour fastball. There's that's nowhere close. So what does he do? I got to take the next pitch, recalibrate. All right, I'm trying to stay inside 98. Can't really do it. Miss my pitch. Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm battling. 
Complete battle. Ooh, nice spit right there. He's going right back, isn't he? Mm. No. Blows him away with 99 miles an hour. He was a little erratic in the first, but he found a way to get out of it. That ball's in the left-handed batter's box. Comes back at 97 miles an hour. Throw it again, and he's out. Can't hold up on it. It's just too much stuff to handle. He's got that long action. The hair's flowing. It's amazing how he's going to come back from Tommy John. He's probably going to pitch some of the most important innings for this team in the postseason because the stuff is just electric. So add him in with Julio Arias, Tyler Anderson. I mean, keep it going. All Tony Gonsolin. Tony Gonsolin's 15 and 1. Uh, a lineup that doesn't quit, a bullpen that's just going to get stronger. His teammates Kershaw. are like, Kershaw. What, what are you looking at me like that? Robert, well, I mean, Robert yeah. that, See? You, put, you put the Grom and Scherzer on the mound against anybody. The Mets are the best team that day. We'll, I don't we'll know, man. Happens. Not with that lineup. And the Not Braves right now. are Says nasty. The Astros Not right fan. now. Ooh, he's on the Dodgers. Okay. I don't know. I mean, look, obviously Take things could statement. change. Things could change. Teams get hot at the, at the playoffs. I mean, we know that. We don't know if the Dodgers are going to win the World Series. I don't know. But right now, they're the best team in baseball. I like the energy, too.